What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what really affected the price today and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, let's get right to it. So SoFi did close 1.4% in the red today. 31.03 million shares being traded. 47.1 is the average. Over this last several trading days, there was a lot of optimism associated to rate cuts. So that kind of kept the market somewhat higher. And in SoFi's case, you also had Anthony buying $200,000 worth of stock, which both were generally good things. But today, the whole optimism kind of faded for the most part. And like I said in my weekend video, this whole week was going to be more of a technical week. And in SoFi's case, it was really flirting with the $7.11 range, but it wasn't really able to successfully get there with sufficient amount of volume. Like I said, 31.03 million shares being traded and institutions didn't really do all that much. So these are some of the transactions that did occur today. There was a pretty good one at, uh, I guess, after hours, 5.38 million, but still nothing in comparison to the last several trading days, as you can kind of see even yesterday. So not necessarily the best. A lot of the volume being done today is algorithmic trading. And regardless of, it seems like the optimism out in the market over this last several days, you had shorts. Shorts continuously increasing their position for whatever reason. Today, shorts did increase 772,000 shares. 20.5% of the free flow is being shorted. That does work out to be 203.46 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization 89.06 and then cost of borrow average 1.24%. So it's very discouraging. Um, again, even though today is already Tuesday, you can already forecast that SoFi might be struggling with that whole $7 range because if you do look at the options, it's kind of a stronger wall is being created. So market makers definitely will not want SoFi to get over that $7 for another consecutive week. So we'll just have to wait and see. Today, there was one piece of news that did come out. Not officially though, so you don't see any official news but you do see them posting this on social media. So it says now rolling out Zelle plus SoFi. And so I think that's a pretty good thing. Zelle is very popular. I think it is ranked number three among the, I guess, Apple apps um, within the finance group right there. So very popular stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think that's gonna be a very good match going forward. I don't really know as far as kickbacks for SoFi. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be somewhat beneficial. But I think at the end of the day, it just kind of helps SoFi all in one mentality so still I think that's pretty good stuff uh, so is definitely building a very vast portfolio so once again kind of making it very easy and uh, really incentivizing members to come over so hopefully that does really help going forward aside from that there was this their 10q that was submitted after hours at 426 didn't really cause anything uh, you did have upstart after hours completely bomb their earnings so i think that's what caused sofi to go down about one cent but still nothing really crazy, very minimal volume. But in this 10Q, nothing really crazy as well. So it's all kind of standard stuff. I will review it a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much already known information for the most part. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Aside from that, looking at options, $4.12 million in calls, 3.52 in puts. But sentiment wise, 56% of all the options being done today were bearish and this is the open interest right now of the calls so like i said the wall is kind of starting to be built so yesterday it was at i believe twelve thousand, and like i said typically within the first couple of days it does increase probably around like 30 40 percent something like that so right now it is at eighteen thousand, and then thirty two thousand at the 750 even though like it's kind of premature you already do start to see a very strong wall for next week so the week of may the 17th so 18,000 at the 7 uh, 28 at the 750 and then 45 at the 8 so market makers once again are going to try to manipulate sofi just to kind of trend down next week i do believe cpi is coming out so if positive then you never know that could really break past this walls but as far as this week which is again a very big technical week you're gonna see SoFi once again struggling at that $7 range. So who knows, manipulation at its finest, but then again, I think we're kind of used to that, which is kind of crappy to think about. But of the call options that were being purchased, you do see a consensus for it to be above $7. And then looking at puts, you do see a consensus for it to be sub $7. So we're pretty much on a very strong pivot point right now. 
But aside from that, I already did bring up what happened on the secondary market. These are some of the transactions that did occur on the dark pool. So dark pool, very, very popular as usual. And this is all linked to shorting. So shorting, once again, is just kind of getting annoying out of hand, in my opinion. And hopefully next earnings, SoFi does really address shorts. Um, it doesn't have to say that they're snorting coke or anything, but just say something along the lines that you're aware of them because having 20 or almost 21% of the free float being shorted kind of significant and maybe that's really pushing institutions away from SoFi or who knows, um, maybe those institutions are the same ones shorting. We'll just have to it, once the SEC transparency rule does kick in, we'll find out exactly who is shorting SoFi. So I do believe that is slated to be starting tail end of uh, or beginning of Q3, if I remember correctly, um, because initially it was passed in December of 2023. But I guess there was a six month lag or something like that. So. Hopefully that does change things, but we'll just, again, have to wait and see. As far as right now with it closing at 7.06, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So $7.11, definitely you'll wanna watch for SoFi to break above that tomorrow. So that'll be the next strong resistance slash target. And then aside from that, very wide gaps, but the next support level will be $6.60, which it kind of did bounce off of. I believe it was mid last week when it was on that crazy free for all right here. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what does come. Very wide gap, so anticipate a lot of volatility. But today, it is lower percentile of the boiling band. No defined trend right now, but it is at 32, so still somewhat considered oversold. And the number of retail investors have been getting out, maybe taking profits or whatever else. So let me know your thoughts on SoFi. Give yourself a shout out. Did you buy today or did you sell? Like, what have you been doing with SoFi? What's your overall thoughts? Like, I think like right now, the market, I don't know if it was just me, but the market kind of seemed boring today because it's not necessarily just SoFi, but a lot of stocks aren't really getting that bump up from institutions. A lot of companies seem to be missing on their earnings. So it's kind of just spreading the fear a little bit more. And I don't know, uh, just obviously with a very much technical driven week, you don't really have all that much catalyst to really hang on to. It's just future expectations, such as um, rate cuts and whatever else. So let me know your thoughts on SoFi. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.